Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the concept of an Android activity. This is pretty central to app development in Android. So let's look at our emulator, and we're going to look at um, our activity, our sorry, our app that's running. And anytime you see an app, you see an activity. So in this case, the activity you know occupies the entire screen. Um, the activity has its own layout, so I'll show you. I don't know if it's going to let me click here. Here we go. Yeah, so I'll show you, you know, uh, in this particular layout, I can load photos. I have a, a photo view at the top. Uh, then I have some information that will show up here once you, um, once you get some of the features of the app to work. I think this will actually work now. Uh, no, I haven't added my API key yet. So once you do that, you'll see some information down here. But anytime you're looking at an Android application, you're looking at a activity. An act, you know, an application that has multiple pages. So our app doesn't. Our app is just a single activity. Whenever it's open, this is what you see. When it's closed, you don't see anything else. But if you probably use activities, or sorry, you probably use apps that have multiple activities. So I might have an activity that's a settings dialog that allows you to change certain features about the app. I might have another activity that's a, um, you know, that's the main screen. I might have other, you know, depends on how the app is structured. So each activity, um, in this case our main activity, this extends an existing Android class. And there are two events that the activity uh, really cares about. One is when it leaves the foreground. So if I hit back, my activity is, in Android we call this it being paused. And there is a function that runs on my activity every time the activity is paused. The other um, time is when the activity is launched or, or brought into the foreground. And that is called being created. Um, and there's a, there's a handler that runs. So there are two important uh, functions that you can override on this particular class that are called either when the class is created. So on create is called when my activity comes to the foreground. And in our activity, we don't have an on pause handler yet. I think I can, let's see if I can just add one quickly on pause. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm going to add an on pause handler. And what I'll do is I'll just put like a little bit of debugging logic here. We were paused so that you can see that part of the activity lifecycle. Um, okay, so this function on create, let's put a, a little bit of a debugging output here as well. All right, we're in the foreground. Okay, so now let's run our activity on our phone. It's going to take a couple of minutes to build um, and reinstall the activity. And once it starts to run again, we'll look at our logging output. Okay, we're in the foreground. So when your activity is launched, now when you install the activity in the emulator, is part of your Android Studio development process, it automatically launches it. So uh, I get put into the foreground immediately. And then if I hit back, you'll see we were paused. And now if I go back into my recents, we're in the foreground again. So when the app comes to the foreground, now you'll see we didn't even have an on pause handler before, and I'm going to get rid of this now. We don't need one because our app doesn't really need to do anything when it's closed. Now other apps do. They might save some information, you know, shut some things down or whatever. We don't need to do anything like that. However, we do need to do things when we're created. And there's a series of calls that are made in the onCreate handler. We don't expect you to understand all of them, although feel free to ask questions about this on the forum. This is one of the most important right here. So set content view. What this does is it loads the layout for our, our activity. So that essentially says, I want my activity to look like, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I think it's layout, right, so activity main. And we'll talk about layouts in a separate screencast. But what this does is it says this activity wants to look like this. It wants to use this particular layout. The rest of what happens here is you know, equally, uh, equally important uh, in the sense that there are things that go on here um, that are required for the activity to work properly. So one of the things that we're doing here is we're telling Android that when certain buttons are clicked, we want certain things to happen. So our app has an open file button. That's this button with this icon right here. This snippet of code right here gets 
a handler or a reference to the open file button, and then it sets up what's called an on-click listener for it. It says, uh, when this button is clicked, I want to run this function. Same thing happens for the photo button here, same thing happens for the download file button, that's the photo button, the download file button, the rotate left button, and then the process image button. There are some other things that happen here, so we use a progress bar in our app, that's that spinner uh, that you see when we're actually making the API calls and when we're loading images. Um, that we turn off, uh, and then this last thing down here is a check to see if we're allowed to write to public storage or not. So if we can't, we try to write to private storage. If we can, we write to public storage. If you give us that permission when you launch the app, it allows us to save files in a way that you can find them later in the gallery. So that's pretty helpful. Okay, so that is, you know, that's that's the essence of what an Android activity is. I have an onCreate method that's expected to set up certain things so that the app can function properly. And if I need one, I also have an onPause method that I can run every time the app comes out of the foreground so it's closed or put in the background.